Hello, divine beings. Peace, love, abundance, blessings. I want to talk a little bit about what it means to shift vibrations, especially in a time where there is so much of an internal awakening happening on a very personal level that is not going to be televised, that is not going to be highlighted in the world news, but this is something that is an energetic collective uprising. And this is not an uprising that is happening on the external, on a very, again, visually explicit narrative said by media, but there's an internal soul awakening of so many different people where people People are realizing that they have been caught up in the matrix. If you are one of those people, then I'm making this video for you because when you are changing vibrations, so much internally happens that other people will not understand nor resonate with. And I want to set this video for those of you out there who feel like you're changing vibrations, but those around you are not. Okay, the first thing that happens when you are starting to shift your vibration and feeling it increase is that you will notice that you are not going to get the same sort of resonance that you used to have with people who you grew up with, with a certain friend group, with a certain circle that you may have been around. So this isn't that you necessarily dislike anybody or there's any fallouts within your friendships or something tragic happened in, in that regard of there's this huge fallout. It's just more so that you're not finding resonance anymore. You're not finding anything that you have in common with people who you grew up with or people who you were long-term friends with for a long time. And this doesn't mean that you have to cut them off, but maybe you feel like distancing yourself now. Maybe you feel like there's ideas and concepts and just an excitement that you have over life that people around you are not resonating with. And when you tell them it, it feels like they're either dimming it down or it's just it's not being received. And you can tell that somebody's not able to receive what you're saying. So you are activating your frequency, you are accelerating your frequency. And that's the whole purpose of life. The whole entire purpose of life is to get reconnected to your higher self. Everybody here has one spirit that sometimes they forget about, which is their higher self. We all have a physical self. You have your physical being, the one who got that ID, the the security number, the freaking name tag, the all of that, right? Your upbringing, your date of birth, but then you have a higher self, a cosmic being, a part of source, a part of the divine, and this being is guiding you. And the whole point of living in this life is to become a physical embodiment of spirit. We are here to become physical expressions of what our true soul calling, purpose, being, nature, and frequency is. So the more true you are to your intuition, the more true you are to your soul, the more you are living in alignment to it, then you are going to find prosperity. But as you're doing this, you are shedding the old sense of self. That's why we have a lot of serpent symbology in spirituality, because it really represents shedding and regrowing, <clears throat> renewal, regeneration. And every time you accelerate, you move up in your frequency, you are letting go of an old person who you used to be. And this may mean that certain friendships, certain relationships are also now being transcended. You can still be friends with people who are asleep, but you cannot have that same level of closeness that you once did. That's the huge and major difference, all right? Secondly, when you are moving up in your vibration, you will find a timeline that starts to feel right for you, meaning that you might start getting visions of your future. And these might feel like daydreams. These might feel like flashes. These might feel like waves where you're just like, why do I see myself in a, for example, a symposium talking in front of a lot of people? Why do I see myself traveling the world? Why do I see myself in this beautiful state of abundance? And this is your higher self now communicating to you, 
signaling to you through images, through flashes, through waves, hey, here are reminders of your timeline, your path. Your timeline is basically your path being unfolded through linear time. Stay in route is what it's really saying. Stay in motion and follow the path. Sometimes the future visions that we randomly get, not that any psychic told us, because yes, you can always get divination. I offer divination and all of that. You could find on the about below. But sometimes, yo, your own higher self will give you the downloads. Your own higher self will give you the wisdom. And sometimes you do divination just to get like that confirmation of like, okay, I'm not bugging. But there's a point where your higher self wants to give you messages that only you yourself can receive. And I see this as visions of your dreams, visions of your future, visions of your abundance. Now the human mind will come in and be like, how in the world do I get there? And your higher self will be like, don't even trip about it. I'm showing this to you to let you know that if you follow this pathway, you will get there. All right. So that's the second thing. The third thing is a state of renewal and you coming back to you when you are accelerating in your vibration. So the thing is, yo, that age is really a mental concept and it's also a frequency that you are in. Age is a performance, to be honest, and these ideas of where you're supposed to be at at a certain age and time are also, to some degree, just performance work that we have been told to follow. There's no time where you can't have fun. There's no time where you can't be free in your self-expression, be radical in your fashion, be radical in your life decisions. And when you activate your vibration and you move up in your vibration in your own frequency, what you'll find is that you have this way of staying young or looking young or shining bright. You have this way of staying youthful no matter what. And healing is very regenerative. Now, the word healing, right, can get so lost in the spiritual sauce. And what healing really means is that you no longer allow certain things from the past to affect you. Because, again, we are limitless, infinite, powerful spiritual beings who reincarnated here having a human experience. And in the human experience, there is pain and there is suffering. And we transmute all the pain and suffering by remembering who we truly are, which is an aspect of the divine. We are truly divine. And that takes time. Obviously, people can always tell you you're valuable, you're important, you're divine, you're a child of God, the universe, right? But once you really feel it in your soul, your heart is a completely different story. And once you're connected with that, it's like you are shedding out so many layers and you might find that you have a physical glow up. You might Your skin might start shining bright. You might just get compliments out of nowhere. Regardless of your age, you might even feel like, yo, I look better as I'm getting older rather than the quote unquote opposite that society told me. And that's because you are shifting into a state of infinity. So you're not worried about age. You're not worried about time running out. And because you don't have those worries, it doesn't show within your physical expression. And you also don't put limits on yourself. So you still have fun. You radiate a sense of joy, wonder, and fun. If you ever look at the sun card in tarot, in the traditional right away deck, it's always a little boy, right? Dancing in the sun. And the sun represents the solar plexus. The sun represents who we are, self-honoring, self-honoring. This is about feeling full, total, and complete, regardless of your circumstances or conditions or your age. And when we get to that state of internal youth, that inner child harmony connection, a lot of people say, oh, do some inner child healing. What does that exactly mean? That means asking yourself, like, yo, what would kid me like to do? Am I proud of, is kid me proud of who I am right now? All right. And you just start to get into alignment with that. It's really that simple. But I think that 
sometimes in spiritual TikTok communities, Instagram communities, and these very hyper visual social media communities, it can be like almost oversaturated or overcomplicated or over dramatized. And I just like to cut things very simple, which is why I really stick to YouTube and I like YouTube because I feel like YouTube is where it's more just practical, hands on. Here's the information. Use it if you want. But yeah, going back to the subject, the next thing that happens when you are shifting in your frequency and in your vibration is that new outcomes and possibilities come to you. Doesn't matter if you lived in the same city your whole life, the same town your whole life, you will find that the world changes because you've changed internally. You will find that people also want to be around you. People will say, yo, your energy is good. People who don't know anything about energy, people who have never mentioned anything about energy will start talking about energy, 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 energy around you. And it's because they can't even help it. You will find that people will tell you things like, yo, I'm just so attracted to your energy or yo, I just feel like I need to talk to you or I'm just so attracted to you and drawn to you and I don't know why. And then now that creates new opportunities, that creates new friendships, new dating potentials. And that's another thing, yo, if you feel like, you know, things are not going how you want them to go with your dating life, go back to your internal vibration. And set affirmations for what you want to love and really stick with them. Set standards for what you want to love. Set standards for how you want to treat somebody in love and how you want to be treated. And you will find that when you lock and load it, because the universe is almost like an algorithm and our thoughts really program the algorithm, meaning that whatever we think we become and whatever we think we generate. So, you know, if we're thinking negatively about people, if we think like, oh, all men are like this, all women are like this, or all people are like this, then the universe is just going to bring you that. So because it's an algorithm, if you say, yo, I'm ready to meet somebody good, I'm excited to meet somebody good, I'm excited to be treated good, I'm excited to treat somebody good, the universe changes the algorithm and is like, all right, let's bring excitement, let's bring fun, let's bring possibility. The outcomes are all based on your perception, your thoughts, and your vibrations. So when you are accelerating and moving up in your frequency, this does lead to more fun opportunities, to new experiences, and to you having this strong magnetism and allure around you uh, that people will say it's for no freaking reason, but the reason is you did the work for it, all right? So that's just a little bit about what happens when you are accelerating in your frequency. For fun, I'm going to pull some cards from the Goddess of Love Tarot just to see if there's any other messages. But if this is re resonating with you, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. If there's any videos y'all want me to do, let me know. We do have the Six of Swords. I feel like some of you who are watching this might feel a little bit like alienated from certain friend groups or you're just feeling like, yo, like I, I, I don't resonate. I don't get along. Like what's going on? We have the Nine of Cups and it's like you're enjoying your more your own company more. The Nine of Cups is like, I love me. I love my own company. I love spending time with myself. You might not even feel alone anymore. You might actually enjoy your alone time. You might actually realize like, yo, I could be going out by myself and having a good time and things are always going to work out in my favor. The next card that we have is the Eight of Pentacles. Things grow in succession. So if you have been that person, and I feel like you have been, you already know about manifestation, you probably manifested stuff for yourself, just remember that it always increases. The Eight of Pentacles talks about things growing into fruition, and it feels like you've manifested certain things, but you might be like, but there's this other big thing that I want to manifest, and I'm hearing, look at all the work you've done, honor all the work you've done, before you start feeling like, yo, there's still more for me to do, all right? So for all of you who are watching, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being true to you. Thank you for honoring what is true for you. Thank you for being in divine alignment. Thank you for honoring your spiritual path, being in connection to your higher self and vibrating in your freaking truth. Vibrate high, vibrate well, and vibrate with self-love. See you on the next video. Later, y'all.